Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of this new morning. We praise you for your glory. Renew our minds to be as fresh as the morning flowers. Open our inner eyes as the sun rises and cast new light upon the darkness which prevailed in the night. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may be radiant in your light. Help us hear your voice as we meditate on your word now. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reading today is Matthew 5, verses 13 to 16. Salt and light. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. At this unprecedented time of global pandemic, in the UK, we join together clapping weekly to celebrate and thank our NHS for their courage and loving care. Similarly, as some of you will know, we are approaching the 110th anniversary of Florence Nightingale this week. She can be described as a luminary nurse, known colloquially as the Lady of the Lamp. She was someone who brought light into the dark places. She lifted her eyes to eternal love and at the same time focused her eyes on earthly suffering. She was changed by her encounter with suffering and was a good example of the cost that comes with honest engagement with others. Nursing is not just caring from the outside, but being alongside. No one pretends that this is easy, but when it happens, People grow and light shines in dark places. Others' eyes are lifted and glimpse something of the promise in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. With that eagle eye of Florence Nightingale, she saw what needed to be done and she did it. She saw because she was changed by the love to which day after day she lifted her eyes. Let us lift our eyes so that we can reflect light that is not hidden, but reflects God's love to others. We lift our eyes as it says in Psalm 121. We lift our eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Jesus tells us in verse 13 of our reading that Christians are to be like salt in the world. Salt preserves food from corruption and imparts taste to everything it is mixed with. It is useful as long as it preserves its flavour. We need to keep our saltiness, staying dependent on Christ in a loving relationship with him. For as in John 15, 5, it says, apart from him, we can do nothing. In verse 14 of our reading today, Jesus says that we are to be like light 
and he says you are the light of the world. This is a regenerated light of what God has done in us. God who has said, let light shine out of darkness and has made his light shine in our hearts to give us light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ, as in 2 Corinthians. Saul, who became the Apostle Paul, said in Ephesians, you were once darkness, but now you are the light of the Lord. In John, Jesus referred to himself as light. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of the world. Similarly, Peter said, you are a chosen people, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, so that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. This is a reflected light. We reflect the Lord's glory being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. This is written in Corinthians. Light could be referred to as the essence of God. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all, as it says in 1 John 1, 5. Our light is but a reflection of that light. We are like the moon, which reflects the light of the sun. It is a recognisable light, as in verse 14. A town on a hill cannot be hidden. Our witness in the world will be visible. Jesus himself is this light. We are crucified with him into a radiant light of resurrection as people of the light. These photographs are taken on my sunrise walks to Charkham in Bath during this season of lockdown. It is so exciting to see the sun rise and the light brighten the darkness, to breathe the fresh air, to see fresh dew on the grass and hear the birds singing praises and the deers running. This is truly a display of God's splendor. Light brings life. Light shows the way in the darkness. Let us be people of light that lead the way onto safe paths of righteousness, since the wages of sin are death. Let us bring light to the captives and set them free in the power of the resurrected Christ. Let us be set free ourselves with light flooding every part of us on our journey with Christ as we surrender daily to him. Let us enjoy the divine exchange of his love, grace and mercy filling us with his light, his love and his peace. Like Florence Nightingale, the lady of the lamp, bringing light to others. In our own unique ways, we are all called to enlighten, to provide a perspective that allows things to be seen clearly, to give light to those most deeply in darkness because they have been forgotten or never attended to. I'm going to read from Psalm 57. My heart, O oh God, is quiet and confident. Now I can sing with passion your wonderful praises. Awake, O oh my soul, with the music of his splendour song. Arise, my soul, and sing his praises. My worship will awaken the dawn, greeting the daybreak with my songs of light. Wherever I go, I will thank you, my God. Among the nations, they will hear my praise songs to you. Your love is so extravagant, it reaches to heavens. Your faithfulness so astonishing it stretches to the sky. Lord God, be exalted as you soar throughout the heavens. May your shining glory be shown in the skies. Let it be seen high above the earth. Let us close in prayer. O Lord, 
serene and tranquil light shine into the depths of our beings. Come and draw us to yourself. Free us from distractions and heavy burdens. Draw us through and beyond into your pure and brilliant light that we may rise up and radiate this light to others through acts of loving kindness. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs>